These are the one in one million moments in MLB history. Catch and then stumbling forward to grab it. And coming in on number 12 on our list, we have the moment Juan Ligaris comes to the field with a shovel to help with his catch. We've seen the likes of this before. Try to make the shoestring catch and then stumbling forward to grab it. And it you will watch a million other games to see something like this. Although the New York Mets would go on to lose the game 3-2 to the Pittsburgh Pirates, the catch is forever etched into the golden moments of the sport. Stumbling forward to grab it, an incredible play by Ligaris. We'll see plenty of this in the next 24 hours. Just shovels it forward. At number 11 is a moment that has gone down in history as one of the coldest moments in the MLB. Eighth inning, leading by three as Boone hits it to deep left. That might send the Yankees to the World Series. There is nothing more satisfying than dashing your bitter rival's World Series hopes. And Aaron Boone was surely satisfied by his walk-off home run in front of his fans at the Yankee Stadium. Boston Red Sox were close to breaking the curse of the Bambino 85 years after the infamous Babe Ruth trade, but could not get past Aaron Boone. They will later break the record the following year, but that point will always be remembered in their history. At number 10, we have the incredibly close call for Jose Altuve. Rizzo, Loisaga covers, bang, bang, safe. In the game between the Astros and the Yankees, there is hardly any difference between the time Altuve and the fielder hit the base. Slow motion replays from different angles also show how close the contact was. And after a challenge to the umpire's safe call, the call stood. It will surely take a while to see another call this close. Number nine is the moment when Rene Rivera was caught out. Pulls, tags, the bag, fires a second, it's a tag <laughs> A moment of confusion, a moment of indecision, and then resignation. Luck was not on his side, and he was left looking stupid in the middle of the field before finally resigning and getting tagged out. At number eight is Brian McRae, showing us what he does in his free time. Field back goes McRae! With a dive any contortionist will be proud of. The Royal center fielder makes an unbelievable catch with two outs, and the base is loaded in the eighth inning. The now retired fielder is the son of Hal McRae, a famous player, and he talked about the pressure that caused him. So th and this all happened very quickly, and to be standing here today is something that I couldn't have envisioned. You know, to have an opportunity to coach at the University of Missouri. Maybe dancing was his escape. Number seven, Sandy Alomar potentially sacrifices two balls for one as he dives over the netting for a beautiful catch. At the plate, here comes Alomar, leaping, and he holds on to it. What a catch by Alomar. Sandy followed the ball into the netting, fully padded, of course, and even gets stuck in the net. He was safe, though, but he showed great dedication following the ball through and eventually making the catch. Number six is Josh Donaldson's leap into the crowd for a catch. He'll get there, dives in, and caught it! Oh, what a play! He was supported by fans on landing and came out without any injuries. Josh Donaldson pulling a Derek Jeter goes into the second row. But it was daring seeing the way he leaped over the side paddings into the crowd to keep Marco Estrada's bid for a perfect game alive, sacrificing it all for a catch. Number five, no hitters are very rare in baseball. Only 318 have ever been thrown since 1876 at an average of two a season. Yet, that did not stop Clayton Kershaw from achieving one. Not only was this a no-hitter, but he was able to strike out 15 batters on his own, becoming the first pitcher to do it. He went on to have a game score of 102, where the average pitcher's score is 50, second only to Max Scherzer's 104, who repeated the feat a year later. Number four is Brock Holt. And he doesn't see it, but 
It'll be caught by Holt in center. Showing his dedication and Wanda's vision to make an impressive catch on his first start in center field. On June 6, 2014, after a hit, Johnny Gomes doesn't see the ball coming toward his side of the field, but Holt came out from nowhere to catch the ball in the middle. He ran almost across the pitch to make a catch and Gomes could not even see the ball. Number 3. What makes the chances that a ball pitched at almost 100 kilometers an hour will cross the path of a dove? On March 1, 2001, Diamondbacks ace Randy Johnson hit a bird flying across the field. And even though it was during a training game, it still managed to get into this list. The dove died and the pitch was ruled dead. Two deaths from one throw. Randy Johnson certainly did find the humor in this, though, as he laughed with his teammate. After his retirement, he started a photography business, and his logo is a falling exploded dove with feathers around it. At number two is the time Chris Coughlin went full Clark Kent with a beautiful dive over Yadier Molina to give the Blue Jays a lead over the Cardinals on the 25th of April, 2015. The Toronto Blue Jays went on to win the game, and this innovative dive was the highlight of the game. Surely there have been lots of great dives over the years. But after almost a decade, this moment is still widely remembered and referenced even after his retirement. Finally, number one is an almost impossible feat. High fly ball into right field. She is gone! With injured Kirk Gibson coming on to pinch the World Series for the Los Angeles Dodgers at the bottom of the ninth inning. The Dodgers were considered underdogs as a result of this injury. But after trailing into the bottom of the ninth inning, Kirk Gibson was brought on and after hitting a two-run walk-off home run, the Dodgers won the cup. This moment was later voted the greatest moment in LA sports history, and Gibson will go on to be voted as the 1988 NL Most Valuable Player. Eighth inning, leading by three, as Bowen hits it to deep left. That might send the Yankees to the World Series. Rizzo, Loisega covers, bang, bang, safe. Field back goes McCray. Wow! He'll get there, dives in and caught it! He doesn't see it, but it'll be caught by Holt in center. Do you know what isn't a one-in-a-million moment? These players who cheated. All of these players had the craziest techniques to cheat. What are you still doing here? Go watch it now. These are the moments MLB players caught cheating.